What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm your host, Warren Thompson, and I just watch... What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm your host, Warren Thompson, and I just watched Obi-Wan Kenobi, the Kenobi series. Now, I'm at Star Wars Celebration. Disney flew me out here. Um, big shout out to them for really, really taking care of me. Um, it's been a great experience so far. This is my first Star Wars Celebration, so uh, it's quite an experience. Uh, big shout out to them. They let us watch it early, although I, I just found out. So right now, I don't know, I think it's like around 9.30. Uh, Pacific time. I just found out that they released Obi Wan early, so as I'm talking, everybody can watch it right now. This is going to come out tomorrow morning. Uh, but I just watched it at Star Wars Celebration. They did a premiere for it. Then I got to uh, attend, thankfully, thanks to Disney. And I loved Kenobi. I loved the first two episodes of Kenobi. I thought it was insanely cool. I I haven't felt this much like Star Wars in a while. I like The Mandalorian. I like Boba Fett a lot. I really like The Mandalorian. Um, but this, to me, really, really, really felt like Star Wars. And I know I talk about Marvel on my channel. That's not changing, so don't worry for all the Marvel fans. That's definitely not changing. Daily Marvel content, but I love Star Wars. Like, I love Star Wars. Um, so I'm happy to, to do more Star Wars content, um, especially with everything they have coming up. But Kenobi... Like the okay, well let's talk about just the opening scene of episode one. Right to Order 66 in the Jedi Temple. This scene to me was like one of the greatest Star Wars scenes of all time. Like I truly believe that too. One of the greatest Star Wars scenes of all time. I thought it was just awesome. I love seeing the, I love seeing Jedi like fight stormtroopers. I don't know why. Like that's just some that's just very Star Wars to me. Uh, stormtroopers and Jedi and you know, I just love that so much. Um, but that opening scene right away, I was like, Star Wars, like, I feel like this isn't, like, this is, this is Star Wars that we haven't gotten in a bit. And it just felt really good, and it just felt really cool, and I really, really loved it. And I, oh my gosh, <laughs> the casting is just amazing of this. Little, little Princess Leia is, like, the cutest thing ever. It's, like, so cool that that's what we're seeing. And I... You know, I didn't really know much going into this. Of course, I've seen the trailers and everything like that, but I didn't really know it was going to be so much about Leia. I thought it was going to be more more about Luke, and you know, I didn't realize it's Kenobi kind of having put that stuff behind him, and now he's like, it's funny that he's kind of weaker, right? So I'm thinking, obviously, he's going to have to you know strengthen his Jedi powers again and, and kind of like get back in Jedi shape, and I'm I'm excited to see that now. Real quick before I forget about this, because this is just me talking candidly. Obviously, nothing scripted or anything, but I enjoy these videos. But, oh my gosh. At the end of episode two... Wait, did they release two episodes? I really hope they did, or I'm going to have to edit this out. But at the end of episode two, uh, when Sister 3, third sister, I think, you know, um, she says, you know, Vader, you know, he's still alive. Anakin Skywalker. And... Obi Wan just like what? He's like he like he didn't know. I was like whoa, like that was that was a heavy hitting Star Wars moment. Like I really felt the gravity of it in that situation. And one like I really love like in both episodes how Obi Wan is so tied up with everything that happened. Even ten years later, you can tell that like, he's just wondering like I trained him. Right? I'm the one who trained him. Like, what did I do wrong? Could I have done something different to keep Anakin, you know, this person that I loved, who I considered a brother and probably, you know, his own son at one point when he was younger, but then a brother as he grew up? Could I have done anything different to have made him not become a Sith Lord? Like, there's only ever two. So that's like, a, you know, obviously, like, that's a huge deal. And especially, you know, in episodes one through three, they thought the Sith were gone, and then all of a sudden they're back, and then all of a sudden, you know, Anakin Skywalker starts Vader and killing younglings. Gosh, I can't get over the opening scene. It was amazing. It, episode one, it was amazing. The episode two was really, really cool. We, f I feel like we saw like uh, not so much like a side of Star Wars that we haven't seen, but like a side of Star Wars that we've seen a few times, but 
like very like modern, which I really liked. You know, I think the CGI was all on point for this. I know with uh, Disney and like Marvel, um, not so, not so much recently. Um, but I think it was all good here. I was really especially looking at like all the creatures, and it all looked really really good. And you know, I like the story so far. You know, I really really like the story so far. And of course, if you follow Clone Wars and everything like that, like it's all pretty familiar. And I think that's really cool. The Inquisitors hunting down Jedi and Obi-Wan having to deal with I put the Jedi behind me, we lost the war, and now he's like, okay, maybe I have to bring this back. And it's for Leia, right? And you know, I'm assuming Luke's going to get more involved eventually as well. Like, that's really cool to me. And it kind of like, it like hits me in the feels. Now, I should say, and I have no shame in this at all, like whatsoever, no shame. I love the prequels. I do. I love them. I don't care. I don't care what anybody says. I love the prequels. Um, I mean, I love pretty much all the Star Wars films. Like, all the Star Wars films have a place in my heart, uh, but I do, I do love the prequels. I love Hayden Christensen. I love Ewan McGregor. I think they do a phenomenal job, uh, and that tease of Vader at the end of episode two has me so pumped to see what is coming next. Oh, check this out. They gave us a poster after the premiere, um, and look at this. I'm sure they released this online. I just haven't looked yet. This is so cool to me. Like, I can't wait to see this right here. I can't wait to see this. Like, oh my gosh. I can't wait. I, I really want to see... Anakin, Vader, and Kenobi fighting again. It was really cool. Also, big shout out to Wendy from the movie couple. She went on stage for a competition and she won us some Star Wars Obi Wan Kenobi Frosted Flakes. I'm never gonna open these. Uh, I'm sure they taste just like normal Frosted Flakes, but I'm gonna keep this forever. <laughs> that was really really cool. So that yeah, Disney's had me out here, you know, doing all this, and it's been really cool. Uh, I've been live tweeting and posting on Instagram, so if you want to follow me, um, it's Cosmic Wonder YT, like YouTube on Twitter, and just Cosmic Warren on Instagram. But I this made me really, really, really excited for Star Wars because a lot of Star Wars is coming up, and we've had you know quite a bit of Star Wars so far with the Mandalorian, Boba Fett, and you know like Ahsoka and stuff coming up. Like that's that's really exciting. I did see uh, a sneak peek. At the Mandalorian season three, for those who are curious about that, that looks phenomenal too. Like that looks really good, and Andor looks pretty good. Uh, Andor, especially after Rogue One, was like so good. I'm hoping Andor really does live up to Rogue One. Um, they announced the season two. I think it said they're gonna have 12 episodes, and it's gonna lead right up to Rogue One. So that's gonna be really really cool. But I just I love Kenobi. I think it's so cool. Um, I don't. Moon Knight was really good, and I was really like invested in Moon Knight because I I just liked the story. But Obi Wan, I think I'm like invested in the characters more than I've been invested in characters before. Like I have like emotional attachment to these characters, and I love the story, and I just love how they tackle Obi Wan having to deal with the pain of losing his brother to the dark side, him becoming a Sith Lord, and now dealing with the realization that he's still alive because he thought he died, which is, like, something that I didn't even, like, ever think of. Like, oh, my gosh, of course, how would he know? He left him there, like, on fire, limbs cut off. Like, yeah, I would think he died, too. He just left. So how would he know? And that hit me hard. Like, that was heavy. So, I don't know. I just really enjoyed... The Obi-Wan Kenobi, well, I can't say I enjoyed the whole series, but I enjoyed the first two episodes. I thought it was phenomenal, and it felt like Star Wars, and I felt like I was a little kid again watching Star Wars, and maybe that has something, like a big part to do with why I'm feeling so good, but hey, I think that's what they meant to do. So I really liked it. I want to know what everybody else thought about it, and I really hope they show two episodes or I'm going to have to edit this, uh, some parts out, but... Let me know what you thought about it. I will be covering the Obi-Wan series. Uh, I'll be doing some like, Easter eggs and stuff like that. And, of course, I'll be reviewing it uh, after each episode. So I'm really excited for it. So be sure to subscribe if you uh, aren't already and you want some Star Wars content. Also, Marvel content as well. And some other cool, just, you know, cool movies and stuff I'll be talking about as well. A lot of people have been asking me. So, hey, why not? I love you all. Appreciate you all. You're the only reason I'm here at Star Wars Celebration right now that Disney invited me out. So I 
truly love you all 3,000, and I will catch you next time. Woof woof.